Hey guys, it's day 956. We're doing chest and fries. couldn't necessarily find like a measurable gauge to determine like uh gender identity in a way because it's an animal but i thought it was kind of weird how some tended to be top and some tended to be bottom yeah, i don't know why though. i just thought it's like it's like i wonder what the driving factor of that is it's size is it is it like correlated between like i don't know it's interesting See that, but I definitely think it can be an outlet for certain skills that are like important. Like you'd want, for example, you'd want a doctor who's been taking a lot of schooling, right? Compared to some like you think, like you know, well, well, well versed in that. But like, yeah, I definitely do. Cons I can see there being some circumstances where it creates a certain kind of. Uh, setting for kids to think like hey you know i like oh well, I, I guess it, it mold, it's a mold in a way yeah which can be bad and good in some circumstances yeah. but i definitely think a lot of problems with the school system yeah but as far as homeschooling goes i don't know i'm open-minded to it like i think like you can do it but i definitely think there's pros and cons in each you know what i mean because you know in school they, they don't teach a lot of useful stuff like yeah fucking taxes and basic oh i agree i definitely think that should be a part of the school system I'd be interested in like, uh, 
either finding some kind of like homeschooling system that's yeah. not really like in your house, like some kind of like higher learning. Let's, let's probably be privatized, whatever. Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know. I think it's weird to me. And, uh, and I recognize this as well. The liberal side of things kind of have a monopoly in the education system. But why are, uh, why don't a bunch of conservative billionaires just get together and like start making more privatized schooling systems yeah. that fit their agenda? I think that should be happening more too, right? Yeah. I think Elon Musk started his own schooling thing. Cause that's, that can be, it could be like, if you want to, you know, have more diversity and rather have it, you know, monopolized. Yeah, I'd yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, yeah cause like normal schooling is just extremely overpriced. Oh yeah. And like you don't really learn much for what you're paying for. And I think, I think nobody's neglecting that like over COVID and all that stuff too. Like schooling was really like affected me in a negative way. Like, yeah, yeah. like cause the thing is it sucks and it's a system that they're in, but like they're just kind of trying to figure things out too. Yeah. But like, I definitely think the quality of education over that was worse. Oh, yeah. Big time. Absolutely. Teachers that don't really care, it's just, you know, looking for us as students. Yeah, I can see that. You know, get a vibe. One statistic that was interesting to me was the correlation between amount of education towards how much income you earn. Because like, I could definitely say, like, do I think school's right for everybody? No, like, do you think you can be successful without it? Yes. But it was interesting how statistically, I'm pretty sure people who had at least a college or university education, yeah on average made double if somebody was just a college to a high school diploma, you know what I mean? Yeah. But obviously that doesn't even have a lot to say with because what if the school system just sucks regardless, right? Like but I guess what I guess in a way too, like I think it was mostly talking about kindergarten to twelve, but even for like colleges and stuff like that, I still like do I think it's like I know be all the best thing in the world, everybody should do it? No. But do I think it's probably good for some people? I would think so personally. Like some degrees are very useful. Yeah, exactly. But there's other degrees that you know you can spend sixty grand in and yeah. not find a job. Right out of graduation. One, one thing I listened to that was kind of interesting is it kind of changed my perspective on the education system. Not, not entirely, but like, I kind of feel like thinking about it now, I really think resources like OHIP and stuff like that really should be allocated to uh, the poor working class people more so than, because like, do I think I, I should have got uh, OSAP? Not necessarily. Like, how do you feel about it? No, do you, like, do you think it, it, it was like? I, I guess what I'm trying to say is the return on investment for you was quite good, right? Mm -hmm. But like, like I, I just don't really know. Like at the end of the day, like if it was a barrier of entry for you, you know what I mean? Like I guess what I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious at what point should they stop awarding OSAP to people? You know what I mean? Isn't OSAP like they just give you a loan? So you won't need to pay it back. Yeah. I guess so, but there's there's some forgiveness and stuff like that too. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's just I, I, in an ideal world, I think education would be entirely like free and stuff like that. Yeah, but that would be nice. part of me kind of wonders like sometimes are we being a bit too generous? I don't necessarily know. Um, I, like yeah, I, I think education should be free, but it's like it's a it's a complete business now. Oh, oh it's not, yeah, that's, okay. that's all it is. Unfortunately, yeah, they don't care about making people smarter, or giving people a big career. They care about making money. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I, I can agree with that. It, but I feel like in some capacity, it inevitably improves. Like, and it's not the main pro 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 proprietary focus, but it does end up improving people's lives in some capacity. Yeah, it's not the best thing. Like, that's the thing I'm stuck with. We kind of live in a world where, like, people generally don't give a shit about each other. Like, 100%. Oh. And I think, I, I don't know, I, I just don't know if I can even, I'm not saying, 
I agree with it, but I understand why it is the way it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, and this last thing, like, OSAP's good in a way, but then it's also bad in a way. Because, like, you know, for student loans, you can't default on your loans, you can't declare bankruptcy. Yeah. Like, yeah. the school always gets this money eventually. Okay. And it's like the government gives all these free loans, so it's like, why wouldn't the university increase their tuition? Yeah. It's like we're getting the loans anyways from the government. No, I, I, I can agree with that. Um, it's like that. that's like the, the weird conflict of interest there where it's like, it, it just looks like mostly profit based. Yeah. Instead of education based. Yeah, I can see that. That's shitty. But. No, it's, it's just unfortunately, it's just the, the beast of, uh, I don't know if it's capitalism necessarily or what it is, but. Yeah. I think it's a little, a little bit of corruption. Mm -hmm. Cause it would be nice if there's more, um, more of like a free market where more schools are popping up that are cheaper because I'm yeah. sure most people would go to the cheaper schools yeah. and offer like the same education or so on. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, I get it. There's this guy named Mischief. He's like kind of a popular YouTuber, streamer, whatever. Yeah. He uh, he was benching 315. Yeah. Oh my god. Is that free play? Yeah. Yeah. 315. He's benching 315. Yeah. And he's like, oh, he's, he's a pretty strong guy, or whatever. But he's not like super ripped or anything. But he's starting to lift now. Like basically a bunch of Twitch streamers. Do you know who Kanut is? Or by chance or no? It's like this big like. Scandinavian or something like that. This really big jack streamer, and he's trying to get other streamers to uh, wait, what are we in the bar? Yeah, we can do the bar. He's like, yeah. uh, but, uh, he's like, had a bunch of YouTubers and shit, um, or Twitch streamers, to wait in. It's called Chance to Do where he's like trying to help them get big. Yeah. And, so he was on there and like, you know, they, 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 they've been lifting and he's been getting stronger and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, he's doing 315 up. Yeah. He put one rep up and then like he started going to go, he's ego lifting, you know? Uh, so he put the one up, he tries to go for another one and the guy's spotting him too, right? This other strong guy and he's like a, a former football player, but like, he's a street right now too, but he's not like a, an idiot, right? Yeah. So then the guy's going for the second rep. Yeah. I don't know, I'm gassing this story out too much, sorry. Go for the second rep, he drops the barbell on his chest. Oh, okay. like, man, I can't really imagine drawing some freaking kidneys out of your chest. I mean, he wasn't even winner, he was fine, but I'm like, man, like, it's just oh. like, I never want to ego lift, because like, seeing like, shit yeah, like that, accurate. it's like, dude, like, like, oh, I got one more. And it's like, and you're trying to go for a one rep PR, it's like, bro, like, that's probably not the best idea. Not that it works for One rep PR, let's go again. Are you, are you going first, or you want to go first? Oh, you go first, come on, great time. Sure, I want to 35 then. Oh, yeah. But oh, we have no Yeah, I'm just watching like okay, 35 get dropped in your chest and like I mean it's like real like all over the ball. I can imagine what that feels like. Yeah. Was it like a fast draw too? I'll show you yeah, it after if you want to see it. Yeah. I'll show you it. it, it it's pretty quick. But no, yeah, I, I didn't know he put 315 up. I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. Like, that looks pretty, he's stronger than I thought, because he's just like, he's not like in shape or anything, really, but. Mm -hmm. Am I far back enough? Oh, I need a little more, though. Okay. Shit. Oh, yeah.
because I was going to be just watching him, but... He's struggling. I can't believe he went for another one. Are you going to hear the audio? He's like, going for another one? Oh, oh my god, eh? Damn, yeah. Hard yeah, dude. He's fine, but like, yeah. that's fucking... I would not want to drop that's that. Big. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah, though, eh? That was scary. Kind of like all his ribs. Yeah, man. It wasn't just like a little subtle, it was like, oh, holy fuck. Conscientious of like, hey, we want to promote, you know, being a good human being and being healthy yeah, and being healthy. strong. You know, I mean, it's good shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, oh no. Yeah, it's funny to see that on stream. It's different. Yeah, it's, like years ago, like it's so funny if you told somebody, oh yeah, what Twitch is, like let's say I don't know, 15, whatever it came out, yeah. like it's probably veered such so much away from what people anticipated it would be. You know what I mean? I think it's for the better. Yeah, exactly, right? Fortnite, PUBG. What we're thinking of as aliens are there. Aliens are there. Extra-dimensional beings that are like a true creature of the space program. Let's just start Twitch stream. Oh, shit. Someone donates five bucks. Add another plea. Yeah. Imagine that. I definitely think we could. there could be something that's more... Just talking about before how... Those Twitch streamers are making like a, they did a game show and shit where they hosted other Twitch streamers on and stuff like that. Yeah. And the audience the votes on the answers and the Twitch streamers have to guess which the most popular answer is. So I think something that makes the audience engaged too, like like you said too, like imagine if we stream here, it's like add five dollars, five hundred points and stuff. I think, I think yeah. people feel a lot more engaged when they actually have some sort of agency, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. 2315, I'll give you 20 bucks. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> Got right in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> But then at what point do you sell your soul like fucking, uh, what's his name? Is that his name? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please, we're gonna ransom that spot. Like, nah, either. Yeah. 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 Maybe I'm being too, like, soft here, but some of the content like that, I kind of grown out of. Yeah. 
Because I feel like it's like, man, when somebody's like genuinely like confused or scared, yeah. like, like somebody's like a bomb the way on a fucking plane or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that oh, shit. Fuck. It's like, oh, look, somebody don't need this bomb noise. <laughs> yeah. I think one thing that's crazy to me though, bro, is um, I, I guess it would have, it's obviously always been a thing, but I never looked into it. Like how scary getting swatted really is. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so dangerous. Yeah, because like you don't want to move too erratically or do something stupid. Yeah, or you're like hands on something. And there's like these fucking like kids that are just doing it and they're getting it's funny. It's like man, there's got to be something that punishes people that do it. Oh yeah, because that's so bad. Oh, I agree. I think it's like nighttime and it's like dark. Yeah, exactly. And they'll, they'll yeah. say like all startled. Awful things like, I have a gun that's gonna shoot everybody in the house or something. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Really bad. But, yeah, they have these things out there. No, I know. It's just like, life threatening, really. But I know that Tim Cass guy. You ever see that guy, Tim Cass? Tim Cass? No, I don't think so. He's known for like wearing the beanie on his head all the time. I don't think I know him. No. no. He has a huge podcast. He does. He talks to all the conservatives and the mm -hmm. shit like that. Okay. Oh, the Hodge Twins did a podcast yesterday with him. I think I'm gonna watch it today. Okay. Should be funny. Yeah, like he got swatted so many times. Yeah. And uh, he was talking about it one time, how it's like dangerous because he has guns in his house. Yeah. And have cops go through your house when you have guns in your house is like so dangerous. Oh, I agree. Instagram, it's, it's so weird to think though, like how 
the world's changed in a way, because, bro, I don't know if it's just me. Like, I've been getting into more into watching political stuff or, like, debates and podcasts now as I got older. When I was 12, bro, I was not fucking going on YouTube to watch that yeah. shit. It's just such a different world. Yeah, you know what I mean? I think it's the algorithm that pushes it. Yeah, the algorithm. It's probably because, like, debate is very, uh... Addictive or something. Yeah, or like, I can see that. Like stimulating most people. Kind of like the same as like the light box and people fight in other ways yeah. too, or just like watching people challenge each other. Yeah. 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 Like some of their takes are so bad. It's Dude, like, terrible. man, I just, I don't oh, see how you be this so ignorant. Some of them would be ashamed to say they're not a virgin. Well, and like data collection, they don't really ask your name, right? Yeah, that's fair. They just want your. Oh, it's anonymous. Yeah. So yeah, that's fair. Cause like, I heard that, I'm like maybe, but no, I guess that's fair. It's it's not like an actual super sound argument. But I guess just for me, ultimately from that stat, I was surprised it wasn't significantly different. Yeah. Yeah, I was assuming it'd be different. But, me too. But yeah, just in general, I think more people are. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah, but well, like, I want to see what it is compared to the other years. Oh, yeah. It's legit. Like, um, is it more virgin now? Or? Oh, probably. That's what I think. That's what I would think. Well, I'd agree. Yeah, I'd agree. So I guess I just, I, I'd expect there to be more of a, of a discrepancy between the yeah. genders there, right? Eh? I don't really agree with it. Yeah. But like, do you feel like guys kind of inevitably set themselves up for failure because they kind of want girls that uh, aren't don't have really high body counts, so so girls are, are more picky with who they sleep with. So then in, in, in some situation they're kind of almost creating the problem by making girls value based off of the amount of partners they're with. So girls are less willing, but less willing to have more partners. So guys in a way are, I guess what I'm trying to say is, do you think guys almost in a way make, uh, the way that they treat girls in that regard makes it probably harder for them to actually get sex? Do you think so? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think, uh, I think the whole, 
um, a guy wanting a girl that's like a virgin. I don't know right now how true that is. Okay, well, I, I didn't know how you sat, so that makes sense. I agree too. Actually, that's some bullshit. Yeah, like, uh, so I'm just curious, like, do you, would you care, like, with a partner, how many people they have, they, they've they been with? As long as it's not, like, a ludicrous amount. Yeah, no, yeah. As long like, as long as it's, like, a thousand. Yeah, so thousand. I was like, okay. But, like, let's say it was as much as you, would you care? No. Okay. okay. I'm the same way. Yeah. But there's all these guys that talk about, like, oh, you know what? A girl's value is based off of that. It's like, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. So. I don't think they're to themselves. They just yeah. Say, say stuff like that. Was that bigger? That was two. But like no, I think oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just so silly how they have the stand the standard of like oh wait you're showing okay the five minutes ten so everything only five minutes oh ten minutes ten oh I got my first so I got my first like the final but yeah no I agree yeah no, I, I think it's it does not matter to me at all a lot of like clickbait bullshit I just say that yeah. I just personally kind of find it a bit like super hypocritical. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can bang whoever I want because I'm a male, but because you're a woman, your value is correlated with how many people look No, I don't agree with that. Honestly, those guys just say shit, just need clicks. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I would respect them a lot more in that circumstances. I hope it's not genuine what they actually think because. I definitely do think in a way it's not good for young people to think like that, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they're just curious Yeah. It's such a story they, they tell us. Yeah, like, bro, you just made that out of your fucking ass. Exactly. <laughs> Especially the one guy that's like less attractive. Oh, I know. This shit he makes up, man. <laughs> He's a whole thing. I like him a lot. Like, I don't like Myron that much. I don't, I don't really like him, per se, but at least I feel like he'll speak his mind. And it, like, I'm not saying you should be able to just say Oh, You know, like, the better looking one. Who's he, Myron? Uh, the, you know, the guy that's bald, uh, the Arab guy or whatever it is. I don't know what he is. Like, but uh, at least I feel like he'll try to articulate an opinion and he'll have a little bit of back and forth. The other guy just wants to bully people, I think. Uh, yeah. Like, they're both dumb, don't get me yeah, wrong. Sure. But, like, I really feel like, at least for him, like, I was listening to one today, I'm like, okay, he actually did some back and forth. I can appreciate that. I don't like people who are just unwilling to be open-minded at all yeah. and be present a different opinion to just show yeah, it. It's so stupid. Yeah. Put them down. Oh yeah. Anyways, guys. Nine fifty-six. See ya. See ya.